Yes, they say an electromagnetic pulse attack, also known as an EMP, could be devastating. It could easily damage the country's critical infrastructure, especially the electrical grid. If a terrorist organization or North Korea or Iran detonated just a single nuclear weapon, a single nuclear weapon at high altitude over the United States, you know, it would destroy the electric grid and our critical infrastructures and put at risk the lives of up to 90% of the American people. You know, we all depend directly or indirectly. We all live directly or indirectly off of electricity. We're an electronic civilization. But now Iran and North Korea have a new deal to team up on science and technology, and that's raising serious concerns. Now, Iranian media reports that Iran and North Korea have signed a new deal, and it came with a tweak to the West. Iran's supreme leader quoted as saying the two countries have common enemies since the arrogant powers cannot bear independent governments. The Iranians say they'll work with North Korea on scientific and technological projects. Iran has consistently denied that it's pursuing nuclear weapons, but recent reports say there's another indication that a weaponization program is moving ahead. The reemergence of a mysterious scientist named Mohsen Fakhrizadeh. The Wall Street Journal, which first reported this story, says he's Iran's version of Robert Oppenheimer, the physicist who headed America's push for a nuclear bomb in the 1940s. Experts say Fakhrizadeh drew into the shadows after some of his funding was cut a few years ago. But according to an IAEA report, he now runs a facility north of Tehran, engaging in activities that, quote, would be highly relevant to a nuclear weapon program. There are no photos of Fakhrizadeh readily available. America is clearly Iran's ultimate target. Clearly, we are the great Satan. And one way to get at America, and an easy way, quite frankly, is through an EMP attack, an electromagnetic pulse attack. 90%, let me repeat that, 90% of all Americans will die within 12 to 18 months after an EMP event. This study was done in 2008. Has anything been done since? No. For years, the Iranians, have been taking a container ship out into the middle of the Caspian Sea and firing rockets straight up. And then they detonate the rocket and say, oh, it was a failure, it didn't go into orbit. I mean, that, that is the signature. That's, that is a clear signature of training for an EMP launch. Put the missile straight up.